How's it going guys, guys, my pals? I'm Alice in Wonderland, your favorite cute trans girl and women. I love them. It's a well-known fact that I love women. Tall ones, short ones, slim ones, curvy ones, smart ones, diddly ones, strong ones, long ones, all of the above really. And I know you do too. We are become human. Lover of women. And so naturally, today we're going to rank them. Why f around? Let's get started. Mary Curie. I mean, this one's S tier, it's not even a question. First woman to win a Nobel Prize, discovery of radioactivity. I would give Mary Curie a big hug. She wasn't terribly irradiated. Mariah Carey. For fuck's sake, if I have to listen to All I Want For Christmas Is You one more time, I will smile and giggle because I'm full of Christmas cheer. I'm a jolly little Christmas elf and I think Mariah Carey is just great. She's gonna get a C. Margaret Thatcher. I think my opinion on Margaret Thatcher is best summed up by this random meme from like 2017. Margaret Thatcher is dead. If Eleanor of Aquitaine, one rich bitch from the Middle Ages, and at different points in her life she was both the Queen of England and the Queen of France. Despite those being possibly two of the worst countries on the planet, that's pretty baller. She also didn't get her head cut off, which was pretty rare for a queen of the time, so I'm gonna give her an A. Morgan Freeman, not very good at being a woman. F. Robin Williams, was actually surprisingly good at being a woman. C. Jane Austen. Not much to say. Intrigue, drama, paper, letters, ink. Do you get what I'm saying? She was a fucking writer and a good one at that. She made books. Yeah. A. Princess Diana. This woman was a fucking goat. The rebel princess proceeded to do exactly what the monarchy didn't want her to do. Did charitable work, appeared as a normal human being in a time where monarchs tried to appear as gods or some random dumb bullshit. And she raised awareness for patients suffering from cancer, HIV, and mental illness. It's here in my opinion. Fuck you, Queen Elizabeth. I'm pretty sure you got her killed. It was orchestrated. Amelia Earhart. I literally cannot think of anything more attractive than a strong female pilot. But we are not ranking people based on their attractiveness. Regardless, S. Broke a few records, became the first female pilot to do a lot of things and ultimately lost her life in the pursuit of becoming the first woman to circumnavigate the globe. Noble cause. Okay, I'm finding that I'm ranking a lot of these women very highly, aside from Margaret Thatcher. This is a problem. Interestingly enough, in my research for this video, I'm actually finding that a lot of men became famous for doing really terrible or awful things, like think Hitler, Napoleon. We're not really seeing that with women. Most influential women are exclusively lauded as heroes, aside from Margaret Thatcher. You don't really get famous for being a woman and you know, doing terrible things. There's many reasons why that could be the case. Maybe it was just hard to become a horrific political despot in the 1600s as a woman. That said, we need to balance this list. Worst women ever. <laughs> oh, this is great. Seven most evil women in history. Perfect. Mary I of England, also known as Bloody Mary, killed a lot of Protestants trying to re-establish Catholicism in her kingdom. I think anyone that leads to religious burning of like hundreds of people is in a pretty fair shot to be considered a complete crackpot. She gets an F. Aileen Wuornos was a highway prostitute that is considered to be America's first female serial killer. She brutally robbed and shot seven men in Florida during the late 80s and early 90s. Now, it's very easy to run about and say, Woo! Represent, girl! Congrats for breaking stereotypes! But we must remember that murder is wrong. Murder is not okay, even if it breaks stereotypes, okay? So this woman, she gets an E. Myra Henley is considered to be the most evil woman in British history. Along with her partner Ian Brady, she carried out the Moors murders in the 1960s. Together they kidnapped, sexually tortured, and murdered five children and teenagers. What the f***? If Tom Cruise, remarkably terrible at being a woman and also a Scientologist. That f***ing L right there. Amelia Dyer, that's a lot of dead babies. F. Countess Elizabeth Bathory thought she was a motherfucking vampire. She was accused of torturing, mutilating, and killing around 650 women between 1585 and 1610. Even though there was substantial evidence against the Hungarian Countess, she never faced trial because of her family's influence. That's just boiler pits of F. 
Can she go lower? Can we put her lower than F? Cause that's like really fucked up. 650 people? Did it... She bathed in their blood? To prolong her youth? What is this? Did this actually happen? That's fucking nuts! What? Cleopatra! Possibly the most famous female ruler in history, the pharaoh of Egypt, in fact, the very last one, had an affair with possibly the most famous male ruler in history, Julius Caesar, and also some other guy called Mark Antony, I don't know who he is. I assume he's powerful. She was literally living in Rome as Julius Caesar's mistress at the time he was assassinated, and it is my belief that she took part in the plan and turned him into a little fucking pencil thing full of knives. I don't know what that meant. Don't know where I'm going with this. Some say she was a sassy bitch. No, I'm kidding. Some say she was the most beautiful woman to ever live. But others say that that's more of a fantasy and it was her charm and conversational skills that led to her being so famous. Very intelligent woman. Either way, a real class act. But also a monarch and I don't really like monarchs. I kind of view monarchs as being a little bit morally bankrupt. Morally ambiguous at best. So I'm gonna give Cleopatra a generous B. Why don't we move on to some modern influential woman? Emma Watson seems like a cool chick. Outspoken against JK <gasps> JK Rowling wrote a series of very successful children's novels, but ultimately completely lost her mind and has devolved into spewing random, meaningless, hateful drivel to people on the internet that really don't care. If Emma Watson. Hey, Billie Eilish. I think her music is weird, but she's done well for herself. History of political activism, and I think that's pretty cool. Truthfully, we are all the bad guys, aren't we? <laughs> da -dum, da -da 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 -da. Cardi B. Just kind of comes across as a little bit of a c Also more or less admitted to drugging men, which is a little bit f What the f is this? I had a good spread on men ranked, but with women, it seems they're all either A, S, or F. What is this? Rihanna, another successful musician, but I have heard tales of her being quite difficult to work with. D. Colleen Ballinger, let me apologize for everything by making a song about grooming children. <laughs> I will only lose him and just wanted to f children. Finster, really bad at being a woman because he is in fact a boy. Get it right. F. Susan Wojcicki. Wojcicki. I cannot pronounce her name and I'm also quite confident that YouTube has gotten significantly worse during her reign as CEO. But I infested rule will come to an end one day. When I take over Ohio, I will extend my glory to the headquarters of YouTube, which is in Whichever city is on screen right now, because I don't actually remember it off the top of my head. And I am going to usurp Susan Wuchiki, and I will make YouTube a better place once again. Fix your name, woman. D. Kim Kardashian. Got famous because of a sex tape. I mean, power to her, I guess. Maybe I should accidentally leak a sex tape. Ha! <laughs> that wouldn't happen because I don't have sex. Delphine. Okay, hear me out, alright? Because I don't give a f about how she looks or her demeanor. I think Belle Delphine is a fucking genius. She played the social media game flawlessly, perfectly, milking her neat Nick Beard fanboys for every cent that they're worth. Generated so much hype, absolutely blue balled the sh out of them, saying that she was gonna make porn, finally release some semi naughty stuff, made bank, and then just f off. Yeah! That's awesome! That's so badass! Like, f*** you! Give me your money, and let me go retire and live the rest of my life without having to work a single day. I think she's best summed up by this comment on one of her Pornhub videos. And yes, I googled Belle Delphine porn to make this video. And yes, I'm jealous. Controversial take, but I'm going to give her an S. The business side of my brain is extremely turned on. Ada Lovelace. Made computers and stuff. Very intelligent woman. S. You. Very good at being a woman. Excellent stuff. Hey, hard stuff. Unless you're a boy. Or an envy. Both of which are extremely valid, but very bad at the quite simple, defined skill of being a woman. So, mmm. Oh my god. 
I didn't realize how many f***ing women there were, okay? I feel like I've been ranking for ages. How many f***ing women are there? Tell me, computer. 50%? F***. That's like 4 billion people. Okay, to end this video, we're gonna go into a more general type of ranking. We're gonna rank body types, baby. Woo! Here we go. Tall women. S. Short women. S. Medium height women. S. Curvy women. S. Slow women. S. Chubby women. You guessed it. S. Smart women. S. Relaxed women. Chill. Big boobs. Muscular. Rakish. Military. Barista. Hawk nose. Trans. Gay women. I am gay for women. What can I say? I'm Alice in Wonderland and I love women. We all love women. I can't imagine what kind of monster wouldn't like women. But there is one last thing I must do. Today we have learned so much. It's time for us to apply that knowledge and figure out who the perfect woman is or what she may look like if she doesn't already exist. So much knowledge. Oh, it's coming out of me. Look, the perfect woman. It's the end of the video. Now fuck off. I just love women.